Hi, my name is Alyssa and I draw cartoons and cartoony things. For this video, I thought I'd break up the weekly upload schedule a little bit and try to do a video in the middle of the week and see how it does because I already have the footage ready to go on Procreate, so I thought why not just make a video out of it and see how people like it. I was pretty happy with how this piece turned out. I was inspired by the art of Lin Chen, who I'll put a couple examples of her artwork on the screen here and a link to her work in the description below. Um, I really like her sense of light and fun and cartooniness and how she paints and just everything about her art is really beautiful to me. So my version is a little bit like the Walmart Great Value brand, like the fruit ring cereal to the Fruit Loops that is Lin Chen's art. But you know, I tried my best and I learned a few things. You'll hear all about my trials and tribulations and struggles of making this piece in the speed paint footage, so let's get that started. <laughs> So I start my art like I do in most cases, which is with a sketch phase. I normally don't just draw right ahead and finish a piece without doing a sketch phase first. So here I'm plotting out my squirrel. At first I had like pumpkins and black cats and I thought I wanted to do something that's more autumn than Halloween and something animal focused because I thought the animal being the emotional center would be more interesting than just having some pumpkins and leaves. It's just scenery. Not that, be not that backgrounds and scenery can't be beautiful in its own right, but I really like having that character to connect to. So, and especially since I was trying to kind of emulate Lin Shen and her pieces are very emotionally charged and full of cute animals. So I thought, okay, let's go that direction. Um, and so I, it took me a lot of sketches that you don't see to get to this final sketch that I actually liked and move forward with in the painting. I went through like 30 or 40 variations of squirrel jumping at camera poses and trying to figure out foreshortening, which is something I really struggle with. And I tried to tackle something else I struggle with, which is digital painting. Now this is kind of a hybrid of like what I would call quote unquote real painting, though digital painting shortcuts are not cheating and don't ever think that way. Anything you can do to achieve the look you want is not cheating as long as it's achieving the final result that you desire. However, I feel like an imposter when I do digital painting because I don't know traditional painting that well. Now, I did go to college and I did take a few painting classes and I know a couple things about painting and generally what you're supposed to do. It, but I do so much cell shaded artwork and so much artwork that revolves around very clear cut areas of shading and highlights and I don't have to worry about things like uh, hard and soft edges and uh, different brush strokes and things like that. All these other things that enter the equation when you do digital painting versus something more cell shaded and straightforward. My brain kind of overloads because in my mind I logically know what I should be doing and I've seen enough art tutorials and taken enough art classes that I know what I should be doing but actually doing it, putting it to paper or in in this case digital tablet is an entirely different matter my brain just doesn't know what to do with all that information so sorry about the cut uh, door got open so anyway where was I at I was talking about how digital painting hurts my brain so what I was saying I think what I was saying anyway is that I was combining elements of how I paint my Animal Crossing characters with more quote unquote realistic traditional painting style like the people who can just open up a canvas and just start putting color down and making a painting, that's like witchcraft to me. I don't understand it. I've never been able to do it. It's something I really would love to learn how to do because just being able to understand brush strokes and colors and, and like sculpt something out of light and color is just so beautiful to me. I have to do a structured sketch and then figure out the shapes of light and color and that's just how my brain works. And there's nothing right or wrong about either approach, but I just find straight ahead painting, digital painting to be wonderful and it's something I wish I could do and maybe I'll it's something I'll work on on this channel and maybe you'll see me grow and evolve and maybe in three years time when I'm posting a video it'll be something that comes naturally to me and I can look back on this and laugh which is something I hope for <laughs> but so in short see the lines that are on the leaves here it's something I would do in my Animal Crossing it's a different layer where I take a pencil brush and I make um, the the lines to help define the shapes of leaves rather than like going in and painting with shadow and light to try to form those shapes I'm, I, I just did the lines to keep it simple and then I had a similar approach to the shading and highlights that you'll see I did it in the mock-up of the colors you saw in when I was planning out the colors but it's the same approach to my Animal Crossing characters, which is I'll take the flat color layer. I'm, a, you know, when I figure out all the shapes and I have all the flat base colors that I want here, um, I take that layer and I duplicate it, and then I adjust it so that it's less saturated and cooler, more purple. Generally, I like to do purples for my shadows or blues. Um, more purple, less saturated, and darker, and that's the shadow layer. 
and I hit I set that to mask in procreate and then I take a black brush which effectively erases and you can use white to put things back I take a black brush and use a um, like a more painterly brush to kind of paint with light is how I see it so it's all in shadow and then you paint with light anyway that's the same technique I use for my animal crossing see I'm doing it right here where I'm painting with the light that was a long-winded explanation of, of explaining what's happening on screen in less than one second because of the Procreate recording, which, by the way, it's kind of hard to do a narration. I have to edit the Procreate uh, speed paint so that it's not too fast, not too slow, and sometimes it just jumps right ahead because it records brush strokes, not real-time screen time. Anyway, <laughs> so that's the technique I'm using for the shading and highlighting here. It's the same thing I do with my Animal Crossing characters. I tried to vary it up, however, by using, instead of the Bonobo chalk brush, that kind of dusty chalk texture I use on my other artwork, I switched it up by using two or three different um, like flat brush and Nico roll and a couple a couple other of the default painting brushes that are in Procreate. I haven't messed with custom brushes yet because I think the brushes that the program comes with are more than adequate. Um, I used different more painterly brushes and I went in and I smudged some areas and did more hard edged areas trying to get a little bit of variety in um, uh, my edges. And instead of just doing the cut and dry shapes or the bonobo chalk very soft shapes I tried to get a variety of shapes I wanted I wanted the light to look chiseled like if you see on the on the squirrel's butt it's kind of like a diamond shape I like that it's a hard shape and it's a little bit unnatural as to, it's not realistic it's not how the light would naturally hit an area like that uh, but I like that stylized light shape and the same thing with the tail it's very like a big chunk of light and that's not realistically how it would look but stylistically I like that look and um, I also went in and took brushes on the leaves and when I was blending and adding color here and on the acorn. And instead of doing a highlight and shadow layer, I actually went in and just painted. So I had a little bit of what I would call quote unquote real digital painting, though it's all real, um, where I went in with different colors and kind of fiddled around with it and added a little bit of painterly touch to the drawing. So it's a little bit more, I don't know, it's a little more warm and uh, has that kind of traditional media feel a little bit more than some of my other art, which feels very digital in my opinion. Um, it needs a lot of work, but this speed paint's been a little rambly, I guess, but uh, what I would change if I did this piece again or a piece like it is I would like to push myself with regards to the types of brushes I use and the types of brush strokes I make. I tend to stay very clean edged and uh, the art I admire, including Lin Chen's artwork, which was the inspiration for this piece, she uses very messy strokes on some of the edges to get that kind of warm, fuzzy feeling on fur and other textures, and that's something I could push in the future. But overall, I'm happy that I kind of pushed myself out of my comfort zone a little bit, um, but still had a successful piece that I think is pretty strong and stands out in my current portfolio. But I do think this piece gives you that warm, fuzzy, autumn-y fall feeling, so overall I'm pretty happy with this piece. What do you guys think of the final piece? If you're an artist yourself, do you have any tips for how I can level up the lighting, the sense of color, the composition, anything like that, so that the next time I approach a digital painting like this, um, it'll be a better piece, a stronger piece. I would love to hear those tips in the comments below. And if you're not an artist yourself, please let me know what you like or don't like about this piece because all feedback is valuable feedback and I will take it into consideration when I tackle my next piece like this. If you want to check out other artwork by me, you can follow the social media links in the description below. You can also buy prints of this art and other artwork in the description below at my Society of Six or Redbubble for my Animal Crossing Stuff. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this or videos about cartoons and cartoony things I post every single week or like this video sometimes more than once a week when I'm feeling really inspired. Thank you guys so much for watching and commenting and I really appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic day.